I am dark but lovely, O daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kedah, like the curtains of Solomon. Do not look upon me because I am dark, because the sun has stained me. My mother's son were angry with me, they made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard I have not kept. Tell me, O oh, you whom I love, where you feed your flock where you make it rest at noon. For why should I be as one who veils herself by the flocks of your companions? If you do not know all fairest among women, follow in the footsteps of the flock and feed your little goats beside the shepherd's tent. I have compared you, my love, to my lily among Pharaoh's chariots. Your cheeks are lovely with ornaments, your neck with chains of gold. Let us pray. O Lord God of heaven, we worship you. We lift up your name. We bow down before you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because you are God. There is no one like you. Thank you for bringing us into the new year, O Lord. Thank you for you delivered us. Everything we've been through in the past years, Lord, you have been so good to us. Your faithfulness endures forever. And today, as we gather here, we worship you. We thank you for everybody. We thank you for the YouTube team. We thank you for this channel. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the new year. Lord, we pray, may you come and lead the way, O oh Lord. As we step off, O oh Lord God Almighty, on our journey this new year, today being the first, Lord, I pray, that you will lead the way. Come and lead the way. In everything about us, in everything concerning us, we pray, come and lead the way. That at the end of this year, Lord God Almighty, we will continue to be strong, standing on our feet and our face raised up as we continue to glorify your name. Let your name be highly exalted. Thank you for prayer and sound. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And amen. Okay, once again, you are welcome. Happy New Year, everyone. You are welcome to the year 2022. Sorry? <laughs> 2023. Okay, alright. Okay, today is the first day, the month of January. Mm. We are so grateful. We are like people that have crossed over the Red Sea, across mm, the River Jordan. We have embarked on a new journey, a new tournament, a new phase of life, everything new, 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 new. And as we start our journey today with the Almighty God, we know that we are also going to end our journey this year with Almighty God. That at the end, we will still be strong, standing on our feet to the glory of God the Father. Once again, my Colorado speaks, I welcome you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I welcome you to our Romantic Lovecraft Season 28. Romantic Lovecraft Season 28. This is where we teach people how to... Mm, okay? You understand? It can be engineered. It can be destroyed. Well, last time I have taught you the spiritual part or the psychological... What? The spiritual part of making someone fall in love if that is what you actually want to achieve. Is that really what it? Do you really consider this person a golden fish? Why must it be this particular person? Of all the guys, all the girls all over the world, why must it be this person that will make you do what I have recommended? Well, you know, I do not know, and you decide. Okay, we've done with the spiritual part, and we've been going through the psychological part, okay, and also the physical part. All right, two of them right now interwoven. Okay, last time I remember that I told I taught you about uh, body language, uh, what is generally known as non-verbal solicitation, solicitation signals. Okay, yeah, it is seen in the animals. Okay, when animals are on heat, well, many of them they will begin to emit um, some odors from their body. Okay, some of the birds they will begin to 
beautiful and like um, they will begin to show their beautiful color begin to make certain sound you understand so are we different from those animals not really only that our own move is subtle we may not have um, a tail that will raise up we may not have a fall that will stand up we may not have our, our ears may not stand we understand we may not emit certain others but i tell you we do we understand especially women even men like we it has been known it's been known that when women are on heat <laughs> they emit certain okay and also Mm, men also they phenol like from their body yeah you understand okay so but that's not what you're talking about it is not easy to detect all this it is not easy to know when a woman is on heat okay by the by the order of our body but the body language will tell you you understand and we have briefly analyzed body language okay so i also remember that i advised men to learn how to look, to learn how to listen, to learn how to read in between the line, okay, so that they will know when signal is being given to them. So it will not continue to be, I've been giving you green light, mm, are you totally blind? Or oh, does it mean that you do not understand? Like, 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 well, 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 the girls they may not say it to the guys, but when they gather, when the girls gather together, they'll begin to gossip. What is the hottest topic? among girls i'll tell you <laughs> they are always talking about men that always talking about guys i'm telling you so men will joke about it men don't talk much about relationship because it doesn't make sense to them they just want to copulate a pregnant girl and then go away when the child is born they will come back a kind of claim responsibility if they want to but you know even the nine months of pregnancy will tell you that eh, the burden of the relationship or or family upbringing or family upbuilding is entirely almost entirely a woman's work so in the same way their consciousness their hoping is saturated with a man's factors boyfriend factors romantic touchy touchy feeling factors okay so when they gather together they begin to talk about their escapades romantic escapade hey that guy i was giving him green light i don't know oh, is he waiting for me to come and propose to him this and that oh you understand okay so i advise men to learn how to read um the non-solicitation signals okay okay fine the women in your life will consider you a real man like you are sensitive okay all right that's a bonus to you okay once again, you are welcome. Today, we'll be talking about um, our first date. What is date? Well, generally known in English language. I thought date is a number on our calendar. Our date also mean another thing. Well, generally speaking, it talks about like people going out away from home or also in at home, but just exclusively two people sitting together Okay, talking things, you understand? Where they will not be distracted, you understand? Okay, face me, I face you. Nigerian English broken language, okay? So generally, you will know that what is this. Do you need the definition? No. This simply means when two people go out together to talk about themselves, okay? All right, good. Fine. All right, today we'll be talking about our first date, okay? How is it going to be? Must it be downtown, uptown, expensive restaurant, hotel, or at the back of your house, wherever, okay? Few things are needed though, okay? You just make sure that eh, you should be left alone, you understand? You should be left alone, okay, in a secluded area. Secluded, not away, far away from people's uh, uh, um, availability, no. I just mean that you will not be distracted. You just need a place where you could focus on each other and talk about anything, absolutely anything, okay? We're not saying do anything, talking. We're speaking about talking, okay? All right, okay, that's number one. It has to be a very cool, a very calm area. 
without distraction, without interference. Even everybody, anybody should come. It will be on invitation. You people shouldn't be scared, okay? You understand? The dog shouldn't scare you people. You understand, okay? And I know that this is the reason why people always choose a restaurant because do, uh, all this distraction will not be there. Well, apart from loud music, when you decide whatever you want to uh, to set up your first date, okay? That's number one. The number two is that, uh, well, there should be something... Um, well, should there be food, wine, candy, chocolate, anything, apple, just anything you should be chewing or anything you should play with, okay? It could be a doll, doll, yeah. It could be anything, okay? So that's the only thing I want to say, a place that is neat, clean, and then what you should eat. And then number three, I have told you not to premeditate, okay? But you already know that you two are going to talk. Nothing but do what? Talk. Okay. Today we'll be talking about our first date. Alright. Um, I was thinking uh, maybe I should have told you the topic you should uh, speak, you should talk on, but no. Let me arm you with how you should talk. Okay. Because they say that uh, horses, the Bible actually say that horses are prepared for the day of battle. Horses are prepared for the day of battle. Okay, you should not learn how to talk while talking. Okay, I will tell you how to talk. Okay, before I will tell you what to talk about. Okay, all right. Just generally speaking, just make sure that you are, you are neat. Okay, not really your most expensive, but oh, you see, um, oh, we are coming to that. Okay, no, today is date acting, whatever. Good, all right. Um, I want to give you something, uh, it's a kind of abbreviation, something that you could remember, uh, something you should remember whenever you want to talk with your potential romantic partner, PRP, okay? Whenever you want to talk or you are talking with your PRP, all right, okay? Um, the abbreviation is SOFTEN, okay? SOFTEN, S-O-F-T-E-N. Soften, okay, to make something to be soft, or oh, you understand, just soften, okay. As you prepare to talk whatever you want to talk, I'll also how I'll also tell you how to be a very good conversationalist, or to be the best conversationalist. You come to find out because human being is overly selfish. Many people don't really want to listen to what you have to say. They just want you to listen to what they have to say. And they want you to love whatever they are talking about, even though they are talking trash. They just want you to, like I am telling you, when you give people what they have, they, they have no option but to do what? To reciprocate. Respect is reciprocal. People say, you are getting what you are giving. So do not force anybody. You are going eventually going to reap whatever you sow. So before I forget it, how to be a good conversationalist is to learn how to listen and that's another reason why i'm telling you do not premeditate forget about yourself i'm saying it again because many people commit blunder they'll start talking about what makes sense to them the joke they love the movie they love uh, their best way that their best food this and that and then the other person will keep mute Okay? You don't even know the person you are talking with. You don't even know whether the person is interested. And today I'm going to tell you how to discern, how to know whether somebody is interested in what you are saying or better, how to keep someone interested in what you are saying if you must speak. Okay? Alright. Okay, I've given you the appreciation soft tone. Okay. Let's take them briefly one after the other. Soft tone, the letter S stands for smile. Okay, smile, smile, yeah, you just have to learn how to smile, okay, smiling is not only meant for the female gender, I have told you that a girl can totally hypnotize a guy by smiling at him, okay, I'm telling you, because smile, and those people that smile often, we subconsciously, we men, like men now, subconsciously, 
perceive them as people that are carefree, people that are friendly, people that have no problem. Okay, but that's not true. But well, we know that that is not true. But our subconscious mind doesn't know that that is not true. Uh, what else do you tell me? When you see somebody smiling, laughing, and dancing to the music, will you say that that person cares? Will you say that that person have a uh, depression? No, that person may even have cancer. But you are no, you do not know. So because the person is smiling and dancing, you are making do with what you can perceive. So those people that smile often, they are perceived to be more beautiful. And I tell you, they are indeed more beautiful and more handsome. So no, you don't have to appear very serious. It is a day to relax, okay? This is a relaxation time. Just calm down. Learn how to relax. You have to smile often. So, so I am giving you a weapon. What I say to the ladies, I say to the guys, okay? Learn how to smile. If one person smiles, the other person should reciprocate. That's how to do it, okay? So, number one is smile. Okay, all right. Number two is that you need to be open. Okay, you need to be open. Just relax. You need to be open. Do not fold your arms. Do not maintain your territorialism. That is your grand space. You know, normally there's what is called grand space. So a space where somebody, the limit where somebody can get close to you, and then that person can be perceived as a threat. You understand? Uh, maybe an arm length. If somebody invades your your personal space, it's either that person is a friend or an enemy. So I want you to lay down your guard. Okay? Do not maintain your your personal space. Okay? Because you are sticking with a friend. You are talking with your friend. Okay? All right. So be open. Be relaxed. Okay? Be open-minded, psychologically, or um, ready for any topic, you understand. So you need to be open. Show openness in your conversation. Show open yeah, openness in your sitting position. Show open yes with your hand gestures. Everything you do, just let the person know that you are open to anything, diversity, unity, from any culture, from any background, from any country, from any spirituality. You understand? When you are dealing with anybody, you don't even know the person. So do not be close-minded, you understand? Do not have it in your heart. Ah, this person, uh, we don't have enough in common. So there is a limit to, no, not yet, okay? You have to maintain the letter O, okay? You have to be open you understand okay the next one is letter f stand for forward leaning that is you have to lean forward when you are watching something that interests you when you are grossly interested in something it is it will be like as though that person that thing is attracting you you will not help it but to do one to lean forward to focus uh, yeah i remember when we were a kid while watching the movie even right now as an adult Look at the people. The people that are men when they watch um, a football, you can see that many of them will even kick the ball. Like, hey, hey, oh, why is it that this man now, when maybe C. Ronaldo or Messi or Zidane carrying the ball, getting to the 18 to the post, you can see most of the men they will lean forward. They will lean forward. Many of them just watch them. Many of them they will or they are about rising from their feet. Okay, so <laughs> you understand that shows gross interest. Okay, so you can adapt this. Okay, you can adopt this. You can adapt to this. Okay, so when the person is talking, or even when you are talking, just deliberately place your two elbows on the table. If there is a table, okay, and then your chin on your palms, on your folded arms, okay, your folded hands, and then just pretend to no, do not pretend, just keep your attention on the person smiling nodding looking from one eye to the other eye then down to the nose to the lips well this is very dangerous okay but well <laughs> okay so you just learn you just need to learn how to lean forward how to show interest gross interest not just interest gross interest okay 
So this will also help you to know whether the person you are talking with or talking to is interested because when a particular topic disinterests someone, the person will be distracted. The person will begin to look for something from the handbag or pressing the cell phone or looking at every noise, looking at strangers. I am telling you, I'm telling you, they say that men, they, 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 they group a lot, they look around a lot. Yeah, because their interest, their attention is broken. Maybe what the particular girl is saying is not so interesting to the guy, you understand? Or the guy from the peripheral vision um, maybe happens to see someone that is a kind of more shiny or more beautiful compared to the, to the person that is sitting before him, opposite him. So distraction is there. So now you are being armed now by this same knowledge. You just have to lean forward and rest by leaning forward looking into the person's eye not to hypnotize the person but to show interest okay you can alternate your your staring or your gaze from one eye to the other down to the nose to the lips and then back again yeah just continue that way okay the person will be amused all right and then continue continue to smile when the occasion calls for smiling okay just smile be open and lean forward Okay, and then the next thing is that uh, leaning forward, you have to learn how to touch. My God, you learn, you have to learn how to touch the person occasionally. Okay, occasionally just uh, brush off an imaginary stain or or uh, a piece of uh, anything, a piece of wool, a piece of paper off the person's shoulder. Okay, just. Okay, you understand. Okay, just learn how to touch the other person, okay, on the palm, on the hand, on the hair, on the nose, okay. Just hold the nose, put it a little in a loving way, the gentle manner, okay. Okay, you can just uh, pretend to hit the person like, mm, give the punch. The girl can give the guy a punch on the chest, on the belly. Oh, oh, do you want to kill me? Yeah, I want to kill you. I want to find out how strong you are. Oh, yeah. Okay, hit me again. All right, you see. Why must you, you must, when you, let me tell you, ladies, listen to me. When you are with a guy, learn how to play with him like his fellow guy. Okay? You understand? Something like, I want to hit you. It's a guy's play. You understand? So the guy will love it. Okay? Hit me again. Hit me on the chest, the elbow, and my stomach. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are not strong enough. I say, hit me now okay <laughs> you understand so well but actually we are talking about touch just learn how to touch uh, the person in a loving way okay all right what i say to the girls i also say to the girl to the guy so when as a girl will punch you but you are not expected to punch her okay just touch her in a loving manner do help her to pack the hair remove the strands of hair from the face okay wow this shows that you are caring you can look at the earring touch it a little how much does it cost oh very beautiful it is blinking hmm. your eyes wow like this your fabric is very soft is it made of wool or cotton hmm. you understand what i'm talking about okay so you have to smile be open, lean forward, and then touch. And then you have to maintain letter E now start for eye contact. Hmm. You have to maintain eye contact. The eyes is the window to the soul. Okay. And we are talking about psychological impact. Okay. That is to the soul. Okay. Learn how to look into each other's eyes. It shows concern. It shows connectivity. It shows mutual interest. Okay. Even though you are the shy type, I have told you girls, if you are shy, also the guys, if you are shy, okay, do not avoid eye contact all the time. You can actually send the message to the guy or to the girl that you are just being shy, not that you do not want to look into their eyes, okay? So, I know that everybody is not daring in the eye contact department, okay? So just look at the person, but before you take off your break the eye, the, the eye contact, just a kind of smile and then look away a little. But make sure that you look back to the person in the next within the next within the next three seconds. Okay, then smile again. Look the other. Oh, the person will understand that you are just being shy. Okay, so you understand. All right, if you just uh, uh, deliberately 
remove eye contact and then without smiling you appear bored and serious the person may assume that you are not interested in him or her and that's actually what it means okay you can make up with uh, your failure in the eye contact department with a lot of smiling okay as you continue to smile and again when the person is looking the other way then take that opportunity to look at them then uh, deliberately allow them to catch you staring at them okay deliberately allow them you understand allow them to catch you looking at them it is so lovely okay they will understand that you are just shy even though you are not shy girls i'm telling you if you really want to seduce a man you can use what i'm telling you now you can appear to be a shy because naturally there is a way that men are configured we are configured to protect the the weak child the little sissy the vulnerable child you understand so when you appear weak when you appear uh, uh, ultra feminine you understand when you appear helpless then the the, the man ego there is something a man that will rise up trying to protect you okay so when you uh, 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 apply this technique now allow him to catch you staring at him and then when he catches you then look away smiling we look away quickly wow my dear you don't know what you are doing to that man. you are you have broken all his guys and then he will already he is seeing himself as your protector and you will see his reaction i'm telling you so eye contact can be used only eye, eye contact alone you can use it to do a lot of things i am telling you you can use it to do a lot of things women they know what i am saying but they are frustrated because men don't read eye contact they don't interpret eye contact right okay understand only the only time they understand eye contact is when they are on heat okay all right so you have to maintain eye contact okay and then the last one is letter n you have to know you that means you have to agree with what the person is saying even though you should argue argue with the person and now one note of warning to the girls first of all even though you are intellectually superior to the guy even though you are financially higher even though you are higher than him in any way even physically stronger than he is okay do not show this to him do not prove this to him okay always allow him to win yeah turn the other cheek always allow the man to lead even when you suggest a topic when you suggest that topic and then back off allow him to do what to lead when an argument comes do not prove argue in a loving way argue to share information and not to put him down okay argue with him to share information and always make sure that you you give the impression that eh, he is the winner that you just pass information or you just shared your idea always say i might be right but this is what i think oh. okay this is what i know now i want you to share your own side of the view with me and then after you must have said something then you have to continue knowing and then thank him for teaching you for coaching you well the man's ego will be on the rise and then he will also see you as a weakling as a little child that needs to be protected and he will protect you i am telling you so this is a very potent charm now what is it when they say that women are charm they have charm or they are charming my dear it is not the only the physical beauty that is charming but the behavior you understand what is the thing that make the difference between two beautiful women okay for myself as an example like okay maybe i can see two beautiful women they have the same complexion the same stature okay the way i like it okay but now <laughs> i'll go to one the way the pet the other pet the one of them receive me when we interact we carry on conversation maybe one of them will be saying something that doesn't interest me can you see i will begin to lose interest okay but the other person all right my dear <laughs> did you know that just by being with someone even though that person is not physically attractive i like i mean that one is not your number one when you talk about attractiveness like maybe you you 
You like people that are fair in complexion, slender, uh, that sing very well, sonorous voice, okay? These are your priorities, okay? Okay. But did you know that if you would stay with such a person that have an obnoxious, obnoxious character, toxic and mentality, it is possible that you begin to hate people like that. But when you stay with somebody that is dark in complexion, not all that slender, okay, but the character is good, that person always allows you to win, always uh, makes you to feel mindly. You helplessly begin to fall in love with the second person. I am telling you. So when we say that women, they have charm, they are very seductive, they are, are very charming, it's not all about their physical appearance. It also has to do with their character. And a wise woman will always remain a woman, taken out of the man, lower than the man. Okay? In your conversation, as you prepare to converse with this person, okay, I'm talking to females now, always appear lower than he is, always make him to feel manly, always make him to um, allow him to lead, allow him to have the final say. Do not prove to him that you are in any way superior to him. No, do not try that. Do not try that, okay? Do not try that. Alright? So if you do this, if you arm yourself with this abbreviation, once again, soften, okay? You will never make mistake on your first date because you do not know the person you are sitting with or you are talking with, but there is an assurance for you. If you do this now, you will totally captivate the person. And before you know it, you will be leading. That person will be following you. But that person will even think that he is the one that is leading. I have told you that if you want to destroy a man, do not stand tall before him and challenge him. No, lean down. No, lean low, stoop down. Okay? Lie low. Or should I say, stoop down and then carry his two feet and then he will fall. How does that work out? Well, when we talk about making love, you understand? Normally, normally the woman will lie on the supine position okay and the man will get on top that's the only way to destroy a man you understand okay have i told you that the greatest energy is extracted from a man at the moment of ejaculation that is every man dies while ejaculating okay all right so you can use this principle in everything you do always call him my lord call him my master call him my oga oga is master in nigerian broken english language okay Always make him to appear superior and then he will treat you like a little lovely thing. How do you treat a little lovely thing like lily, like the reed, like the hibiscus flower, like rose flower, like mm, a, a newborn baby? Well, you treat such a thing lovely, okay? So that is what you need to know, alright? I want you to always remember the word soften. Okay, I think this is where we are going to summarize for today. When we come back next time, we'll begin to talk about conversation. Okay, how you should talk, when you should talk, and what you should talk about. I'll begin to share with you the importance of conversation. Alright, conversation is like making love. Conversation is like selling. Okay, conversation is like building things together all right but before the conversation always remember what i just told you i pray that the lord god almighty will give you understanding into all things in the mighty name of jesus amen see you another time once again happy new year